Voters twice have denied Carol James the job she really wanted, the Premier's office, and her detractors within the party and the caucus weren't willing to give her a third try at it. Hey, news reporter Stephen Andrew now with a look back at the political career of Carol James and who might lead the NDP next. When the NDP elected Carol James as leader in 2003, she celebrated, but there was very little to cheer. She was the leader of a party on the verge of extinction. Two MLAs in the legislature unable to form even official party status. It was a long and winding road back from political oblivion, something she was pointing out today to critics. I ran for leader when there were few people in this province who believed in our party. But I did. And under her leadership over the next seven years, the NDP grew from two seats to 35. Carol James began her career in politics in 1990 when she was elected to the Greater Victoria School Board, a position she held for 11 years, serving as the chair of the board and as president of the BC School Trustees Association. But most people in British Columbia will remember James as leader of the opposition. I'm proud of the fact that we offered a progressive, modern vision for New Democrats. I'm incredibly proud of the work we did in standing up for at-risk children bringing back an independent children's commissioner once again in this province. I'm proud of the work that we did standing up for people who don't have a voice under the BC Liberals, people with disabilities, children and families living in poverty. UVic political scientist Dennis Pilon believes there are a number of potential successes on Vancouver Island. Maureen Karajanis, I could definitely see making a bid. She strikes me as, you know, smart, tough, uh, ambitious. We might see uh, Rob Fleming uh, as a kind of more youthful leader, the next generation of leadership. Some people think that uh, John Horgan has got the stuff, uh, that he could be a potential leader. Obviously, uh, uh, Leonard Krogh ran for the leadership before, so he may want to take uh, another run. Krogh is one of the so-called Baker's Dozen, responsible for pushing James out. If he's considering a run, he's not showing his cards. This is not the day to talk about uh, a leadership race in terms of who may or may not be in it. This is Carol James Day. She deserves the gratitude of British Columbians and, and New Democrats in particular. As for John Horgan, he's being a little bolder. A strong supporter of Carol James, he told the Goldstream News Gazette leadership is something he's thinking about. But earlier tonight, he told A News he was misquoted. In the future, what, what my role in the party will be is, is uncertain. Uh, and uh, she interpreted that as, uh, as a step into a leadership race. Thank you. Thank you. But as one former leadership hopeful says, today is Carol James Day. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News.